साउंड इंटेंसिटी साउंड इंटेंसिटी लेवल डेसिबल स्केल एंड वेबर फेकनर लॉ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन साउंड इंटेंसिटी एंड साउंड इंटेंसिटी लेवल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर We learned all about the sound intensity. Sound energy passes through one meter squared area in one second. Or we say that sound power that passes through one meter squared area is called sound intensity. We know that the faintest sound intensity human ear can hear is I not is equal to ten to the negative twelfth watt. per meter squared and the maximum sound intensity human ear can hear is equal to 1 watt per meter squared now what is sound intensity level well consider this scale of different sound intensities we know that we can hear all these sounds or sound intensities but this sound intensity 0.5 watt per meter squared is different from 0.01 watt per meter squared sound intensity because 0.5 sound intensity is louder than sound intensity 0.01 now how much 0.5 sound intensity is louder than 0.01 sound intensity well we find the difference between the loudness of these two sounds here listen carefully the difference between the loudness of these two sounds is called sound intensity level or just intensity level let me repeat it the difference between loudness of these two sounds is called sound intensity level or just intensity level Sound intensity level is denoted by Greek letter beta. Thus, remember that sound intensity is the sound energy that passes through the unit area in one second. While sound intensity level is the difference between loudness of two sounds. Now, why we use log while deriving equation of sound intensity level or N Weber Fechner law? Well, as far I understand, the function of log in any equation is that it is a pressing machine. When we inject too big or too small number to log, it converts them into something which we can easily understand, or it becomes very simple. For example, consider this number. Now, if I take log base ten of this number. log base 10 will convert it to something very simple or easily understandable now how log converts this number to a simple number well log ask the question what number shall i raise 10 to in order to get this number a number in the parentheses we know that the number in the parenthesis is 1 million if i raise 6 to the 10th then 10 to the 6 is equal to 1 million let me repeat it if i raise 6 to the 10th then 10 to the 6th is equal to 1 million thus log base 10 of 1 million is equal to 6 one another example is consider this small number 0.0000001 now i take its log base 10 as we learn that log always ask the question what number should i raise to the 10th to get this number in the parentheses well we shift the decimal point to the right 7 times or we raise negative 7 to this 10th to get the number in the parentheses hence log base 10 of 0.0000001 is equal to negative 7 so log took this smaller number and converted it into negative 7 which is more easy understandable or simple therefore we use log to make big or small numbers more simple and understandable 
नो वट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ साउंड इंटेंसिटी लेवल वेल वी डिराइव इक्वेशन ऑफ साउंड इंटेंसिटी लेवल बाई द हेल्प ऑफ वेबर फेकनर लॉ इट स्टेट दैट लाउडनेस ऑफ एनी साउंड इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द लॉग ऑफ साउंड इंटेंसिटी लेट मी रिपीट इट लाउडनेस ऑफ एनी साउंड इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द लॉग ऑफ साउंड इंटेंसिटी हियर वाई फेकनर बाबा यूज द लॉग एंड द इक्वेशन इट इज बिकॉज द साइज आर मैग्निच्यूड ऑफ साउंड इंटेंसिटी इज वन वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वेर आर आई नॉट इज इक्वल टू टेन टू द नेगेटिव ट्वेल्व वॉट पर मीटर स्क्वेर दीज बोथ आर वेरी स्मॉल नंबर सो फेकनर बाबा हैज यूज लॉग बेस्ट एंड इन दिस इक्वेशन टू मेक इट अंडरस्टैंडेबल आ सिंपल Now the maximum sound intensity human ear can listen or detect is i according to weber fechner law loudness of this sound intensity is directly proportional to log of maximum sound intensity let i call this equation number 1 now the minimum sound intensity human ear can listen or detect is i not according to weber fechner law loudness of this sound is also directly proportional to the log of minimum sound intensity let i call this equation number 2 we know that if i find the difference between the maximum loudness and the minimum loudness it is called sound intensity level or intensity level so subtracting equation number 2 from equation number 1 we get l minus l not is directly proportional to log i minus log i not to remove the sign of proportionality we add constant k we get l minus l not is equal to k into log i minus log i not now according to logarithm's law log a minus log b is equal to log a divided by b thus we get l minus l not is equal to k into log i divided by i not L minus L not is the difference between loudness or intensity level. So we write beta is equal to k log i upon i not. Remember that sound intensity level is the ratio between two similar quantities. So it is therefore unit less. But wait a minute. It was Sir Graham Bell who worked. Or uh, you can say that he invented the sound intensity level. hence this constant k is equal to 1 bell so instead of this k we put 1 bell in this equation we get beta is equal to log i upon i not into bell this is the sound intensity level in bells what about decibels well 1 bell is equal to 10 decibels it means bell is a large scale a unit and decibels is a small scale a unit so we can rewrite this equation and we get beta is equal to 10 log i upon i not and to db are decibels remember that this equation is different from this equation because this is the sound intensity level in bells while this is the sound intensity level in decibels this was all about sound intensity sound intensity level and decibels